Hey, Dan Huber with Dan Huber Training. Just got done with another session here at CrossFit Mesa, Brown and Record. Come down and train with us. Uh, we're going to do a, a knee bar for you today. It's Chris Weidman's knee bar that he did against Anderson Silva in their first fight. Uh, he didn't finish him with it, but he threatened pretty good right off the bat with this submission. So, uh, here with Chad. Chad's going to go ahead and go on his back for me. And we're going to do this. Uh, go ahead and spin this with you. We're going to do this from a half guard position, okay? Now, when Weidman did it, he was standing over Anderson Silva, and he spun for the knee bar, okay? Now, traditionally, when you spin for a knee bar, you spin over top of the upper body of your opponent. This time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a back step, and we're gonna get the knee bar from behind, okay? So, I'm over top here, half guard, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to post up on this foot, okay? Maybe he thinks I'm going to be passing guard over here. He thinks I'm going to come out this way. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to be forcing him down. I'm, he's thinking I'm coming this way. I'm attacking him up here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a back step with this foot, and I want to sit directly on this hip, okay? When I sit directly on this hip, then I'm going to get a hold of this leg. You'll see what I'm talking about when I do this spin. I drive off of this leg, okay, boom. When I do, I sit on the hip. Once I sit on the hip, I hook the leg, and I fall back. I pinch my knees together around his leg here. I'm gonna hook his, ankle, uh, his heel here, and I pull it all the way back till it's straight, and he has to tap because he's putting a lot of pressure on his knee, okay? We're gonna do it again. We're here in half guard, okay? I'm playing with his upper body here. He thinks I'm going for some wrist locks. He thinks I'm gonna go for some chokes. And then what I'm gonna do is I post up on this foot, I drive off, and sit on his hip this way, okay? Then I don't even have to deal with his upper body at all. I can just sit right on the hip. I pull the knee in, pull the heel back. Three things to finish. Knees together, hips up, and pull the foot down towards you. And you finish the knee right there. Knee bar right there, okay? Dan here with Dan here with training. Check out the Facebook page, danhewertraining.com, and come down and train with us.